Hi guys, Paul back. UP Pickers. Um, just got a package ready to ship. I'm gonna head to the uh, post office and maybe hit a thrift store. Back with you soon. Hey guys, back from mailing the uh, package out and doing a little bit of thrifting. And I also have another sale. Sold the Sanyo forehead VHS DVD player. Uh, I believe I got $43.95 plus shipping, plus $20 shipping. So I'm going to get ready and try to box this up real quick. All right, so I got a box here. I'm probably going to have to resize, cut it down a little bit. Let's see how big it is. Bubble Boy bubble wrap. Get this thing wrapped up. Sorry about the bubble wrap. <coughs> All Size it just a little bit.
thank you card, some stickers. Thanks for the Thank you, no sticker. Throw those in the box. Put the flaps down. Flaps over. Label off. Six pounds, eleven ounces. Six pounds, eleven ounces. All right. Let's see. Six. So, I'm all done with that right now. Um, I'll be back with you in a few minutes to show you what we got with, from the thrift haul. All right, I'm back, guys. So, I do need to say something. When I packaged up that the VCR, I forgot to put the remote in. So, when my battery was charging, I, uh, I put it back in, repackaged it. I knew I was going to get a bunch of guff for it if I didn't. So, I did fix that, and it is in the box. So now I want to go over a few things that we got at the thrift store today. First off, got this vintage bad boys wear blue Detroit Pistons shirt. It's pretty good condition. It's size medium. I um, think I'm going to li list that on Grailed. See how it does over there. I've been hearing good things about Grailed. Got another just vintage t-shirt. It's just plain. Single stitch. Found another single stitch vintage Detroit Red Wings shirt. Made in USA. Salem Sportswear. Um, found two of these. 
ballpark brand. Um, look like baseball jerseys. Pretty cool. Back's got that on it. In the front, looks like a base old time baseball jersey. Pretty cool. Couldn't find them anywhere online, so I don't know. I have to do some research on that. Um, I got two of those. Let's see. Got this Pillsbury You Need Me shirt. It's not vintage or anything. Just kind of cool. Uh, next, on this Fox Racing. Oops. Sorry about that. Fox Racing Honda shirt. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Here's the other ballpark brand jersey. Next. Kind of found a bunch of games today. Uh, Grandpa Beck's Cover Your Assets. That was $1.99. They seem to be selling pretty good. Um, I also got this Unlock Mystery Adventures. The Nautilus Traps. That was $1.50 at Salvation Army. This is AB Alone. Uh, the travel version. Um, it seems to be selling pretty good. 15 to 18, I believe. Something like that. Um, next we got Seattle Shuffle. Word game for smart people. That was $1.99 at uh, Goodwill. Next we got the Oregon Trail card game. Uh, that was $1.99 at Goodwill. Next, we got uh, Bezer Wizard, the game of trivia, tactics, and trickery. That was $1.99 at Goodwill. They seem to have a whole bunch of games today. Next, I found this 300-piece uh, special edition poster-sized puzzle, Star Wars, the trilogy. Brand new, sealed. That was $0.99. Cents. Um, next, I got a Pokino, Poker Kino game. Uh, it was $1.99 at Goodwill. And next, uh, Baby or a Junior Labyrinth, beginner's version of the classic maze game. I'm not sure, didn't see any comps for the game, but I did see the, the, the pieces being sold as a lot. Next, to grab these uh, periodic, ta periodic table playing cards. They were $1.99. They just look kind of cool. Might keep those. Found these two little figures. I believe they're McDonald's, is what it said. Um, this is someone from Cinderella, I believe. And this is a little girl baseball player. After, I forgot what the names of them were. I'll look them up again. Um, let's see. Also got this uh, Iota. Great big game in the teeny weeny tin. Must be seemed to sell for like ten to twelve dollars, I believe. Next, I got this uh, Nature's Soothing Sounds uh, sound machine. It's vintage. It's from the eighties. Um, comps look like they're going twenty-five to thirty, I think. <clears throat> Found some more Tupperware. It was fifty cents at Salvation Army. And this was $2.99 at Goodwill. So that's about it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not. Then I also found three Guitar Hero guitars. Um, this one is a Blockhead. These don't seem to be selling for very much. Maybe $10. bucks. i will see. Maybe I can sell it local pickup. And I got these two. Um... For PS2 and 3, these are red octane. That's, that one's wired, and this one has a dongle. This one's wireless. Um, it's, it also is for PS2 and PS3, or PS2, that one. These seem to be selling pretty good. 20 to 24, I think. 18 to 24, somewhere in there. I'll clean them up, take these stickers off and everything. Um, also picked up this Dell ps2 wired um keyboard it's an older one it looks like they're going for about 18 dollars gotta clean it up it's a little dirty but keys seem good 
So that's about it, guys. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another video. We will be doing a uh, subscribe uh, subscriber giveaway once we reach 50 subscribers. And then every 100 after that, we'll be giving away either PayPal gift or a treasure or something. It'll be something cool. And um, we've gotten six subscribers in the last two days, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we get another six or seven today or tomorrow and keep, keep that total rising so we can get to 50. And I can give you guys a giveaway prize. All right, guys, take it easy. Paul with EUP Pickers, out.